all right so now is the time to integrate the template in this application so let's just jump in what we are going to be doing is uh, we will use this template that i have right here i will provide this with uh, on my github as well so now what we can do is uh, we will use this template the html of this template in our laravel project so now this is the static html some of the things are still missing uh, some if i if uh, uh, press f12 it's going to show me the errors uh, as you can see here um, some css and stuff like that are missing so that's what we have to fix as we go as well so let's just uh, jump in first thing first as to um, copy the assets or the html the the css and javascript files to the project directory so currently i, I am stored as template directory and i have to copy those things to the public directory these are the html assets and uh, some demo and rent files i mean some images uh, as well and now uh, what we have to do is um, i will press ctrl u here and ctrl a and ctrl c because this is our main template but i think before that uh, we need to integrate the register.html as well as login.html so I will start off with this one. I will press Control U here on the register page, copy everything from there, and go to the project directory. Oh, I haven't opened that in Corridor, so I will press code dot in the current directory and the application directory. So and let's start the server as well. Now, what I'm going to do is let's close everything. What I'm going to do is I will go to um, guest.html file and um, I will paste everything that I have copied and yes so I will paste the things that I have copied now we need to set these uh, the JSN uh, CSS files uh, paths so I will uh, do I will copy the path like set the path like this and the same goes here and if i come to the top i have to do the same for this one so now we have three css files so i will control d three times and use the template like this i have to duplicate it like use this method and now we have that fixed now the next thing I have to do is uh, to grab the things to the um, to the register model file so these are the things in this file and what I'm going to do is I will copy everything from here and use yield and I will yield content into this class and I will do the same for title so remove this title and yield the title because title will be like different for each page so that's why we have to do that and we can do like the we can include the application name as well so config app dot name grabbing that from the configuration file now i have to go to the register.blade.php file and here we they are using uh, the different syntax but i am going to use the yield and ex, ex, uh, section methodology uh, so what i'm going to do is uh, use extends extends and we are extending layout guest as you can see right here and then we have two sections so at section title and let's say register this is the title and in section and then we have section for the content so content and paste everything and then in um, section so now if i save this now before we jump in into the ui we have to fix the images issue so if i search for img let's see if we have any image here we have the google 
but we don't need that at all so um, let, let's see if how does it looks like in the UI so I will format that as well as save that and the development server is running so let's fire that uh, in the browser I will close the other tabs and now if I go to register file I will have to open up the developer tools so that if we have any errors and stuff like that so that we can see them and the first thing you see is uh, the title is not coming let's fix that one so I will go to the top and yeah we have that thing as well so um, the title is this and if I go to gist.php we do have title um, I'll save this again let's see if that's going to grab things maybe that's the cache issue but uh, let's jump into these issues so uh, as you can see we have we have not resolved issues so if I click on these these files are not loaded into the application and as you can see the the icons are also missing so that's what we have to fix now before we move on uh, I have to open up the application that is already developed so that we can see the what we are going to do and what's the UI of the application that is already developed so I will go to desktop laravel and connect us and php artisan server and i have to change the port so dash i guess that is dash dash port and let's say 80 8001 so if i hit enter let's see if that's going to start the development server for that project here we will have our project that we are working on and that will be the, the the ready project so that we can see what we have to do and what we are currently doing and uh, till that is loading we can jump in into the file so here we have connect me uh, I'm going to grab the application name from the env so config f dot name and then we have login and register buttons these will be pointing to the routes that we have so instead of hash let's change that to routes so I guess login and register route these are built in because of Laravel breeze that we installed in the previous video now that is uh, done next thing is uh, create an account we have these things uh, in the form itself so uh, we already have uh, the form that is this one so I'm going to copy these things from here and paste it down here this is the default form that we got with the, with the laravel breeze so that is uh, started so I will fire that up as well and let's see the login page like what are the fields over there and we can check that from the uh, from the models as well but if I go to register here we have first name last name and username so let's grab that I will come here this is the name so let's say First name we have to set the placeholder is that we have to set name so first underscore name we can set value as well so that if we send and re uh, request and get any uh, issue with the form so that we can resolve the previous value so value is also first name and then we have email so um, I'm going to set we have last name as well so I'm going to duplicate that and 
um, here we'll go the last name and this is also the last name duplicate there and last name and then um, we have the username so I'm going to duplicate that and control D control D username and uh, placeholder is like enter your your username like so and uh, we can check the UI as we go so I will refresh fetch here and we have first name last time username now we have to use all the icons issue so what I'm going to do is uh, the icons we can see here icon dash input and icon dash input and uh, if I see the icons of this one by checking into the expect element this is actual SVG so I have to copy that it as HTML copy the icon and grab that here we'll paste that and we have some P of C Let, let's uh, see how does that looks like so I'm going to replace the page here it's at the top but if I move it down replace let's hit the bottom let's do one thing check out that again we have a class and oh that is inside the eight class so okay I got it so I'm going to control X this from here and paste that right there and come here and refresh refresh the page and that looks good but we need to remove the existing uh, icon so you can see we have class icon input so I'm going to remove that and hopefully this time oh okay so if I add style margin margin to of in minus 10 pixel let's see still doesn't look good uh, instead I can copy the whole tag so I did it HTML control and control C and control V right here so if I format that we will save that and come here over push now that looks perfect so that is the first name and one thing you might notice is uh, as you can see the create account the create option is hiding so we need to fix that as well but let's add the icons and the fields that we have uh, like uh, the email and mobile number so uh, we have used JavaScript for that so um, let me show you what is the JavaScript for that like uh, here um, this is the email right so uh, what we are going to do is uh, we will set the the, the input type uh, email this should be email uh, dynamic so when you click on that button uh, the change the type will change as well as the uh, placeholder of this input field will change so so to do that uh, 
as we saw in the demonstration here we will have two buttons if you click on email by default that will be also email so if you click on email the email field will appear and if you click on phone number then the phone number field will appear so uh, to achieve that uh, we will create the nav bar for that so b dash nav to create a basic navigation uh, and here we will have like uh, email and the phone number so uh, duplicate that and uh, active you will make that button so that's how com and uh, if i now uh, view that in the browser uh, we have phone and uh, email options but we need to make them buttons so um, to do that uh, what i'm going to do is uh, let's remove the edge shape tab because we don't need that or um, let's say let's remove that and classes will be btn btn uh, let's say info and if i save that and refresh let's see how does that looks like so yeah button looks good we need to add some uh, margin from the bottom so uh, we can come here and uh, margin bottom let's say two and if i refresh the page yeah that looks uh, good we need some spaces as well so with the phone i will add uh, mx of one let's say uh, with both of them mx of one and let's refresh the page so as yeah that looks uh, good now we need to add the functionality like if you click on phone then the phone field will appear here so for that you will use a little bit of uh, javascript now uh, this is an input type uh, email and uh, enter email address um, so what I'm going to do is let's say id equals to uh, email or underscore phone number that will be the id for this so that's what we are going to, be, we are going to identify this element on now what we are going to do is uh, create some javascript that will allow us to decide where this this input field is um, this input field is phone number or uh, email them so uh, I will create a function for that so let's say change uh, or toggle toggle email and uh, phone phone my bad so phone uh, fields and what I'm going to do is uh, we will target this element and we will call this element from both of these uh, both of these buttons so unclick we will call unclick and we will call this method and passing the type so let's say the type is phone and when you click on email uh, button that is email so on click uh, call this method with the type of uh, email so now uh, we have to accept that right here so let's say uh, input underscore type and now uh, we will decide based on the click button where this in input should be email or uh, phone number so first we need to um, target the element so the document let's say element equals to document dot query selector and passing the hash and then this id and then here uh, we can see that uh, this is input type email but we don't have the name so let's set name let's say name is equal to uh, as this email so by default will be email and once you click on that uh, what we are going to do is uh, as you can see here uh, we have type should be phone phone and uh, what we are going to do is set the type of this element 
based on the buttons that is clicked so element dot type equals to the type that uh, input type that is passed in a parameter uh, so input input underscore type yes and after that we need to change the uh, e, uh, the placeholder so and uh, I will pass tell here because like if I do we I have bootstrap so if do input type phone it doesn't exist if I do tell uh, the telephone uh, number does exist so that is failed that's why now I have to pass uh, the tell over there now once that is uh, the, the input type is set then we can change the placeholder as well so I think we can directly pass the uh, placeholder uh, as well as the second parameter so we can decide that here as well but what I'm going to do is uh, enter email as is copy that from here come here and paste that enter phone number and I will come here then add second parameter as enter your email address now um, I have to accept that so uh, plus underscore holder and uh, set that directly like this plus underscore holder place holder so that should do that so if I save this let's see if that is going to do their job so I'm going to open up the developer tool if there is any error we will see that right here um, these are the loading error so if I click on email there's nothing happening um, there seems to be some error yeah uh, query selector is not a function oh syntax error so query selector refresh we can use the document that get element by id as well but uh, randomly I got on um, query selector so as you can see now if I click on any of them it's going to change the input type now we have a password uh, and uh, let's remove that looking at uh, the ready one now uh, we have email password and confirm password and then uh, the profile picture then gender and then accept the terms and condition so let's uh, work on that so what i'm going to do uh, here we have our password and so input type password yes that's correct then confirm password then we have the accept term and condition uh, that's also fine we do we have the name we have to add the name so name is equal to password and name of this should be uh, name sorry name is uh, let's say terms and this one will be password confirmation so name password confirmation and then we need to add those two that are missing uh, the one is a uh, profile picture so b dash uh, I guess we have file input uh, file b group a b form group that is the extension uh, shortcut so b form uh, file and we have custom file and let's go for the custom file let's say profile um, and then profile and profile is a text now let's add a margin just like these so I'm going to copy these from here and paste it like that I will save that now here we have the profile uh, now let's add the rest of two options for the gender so B form check check in line and custom check check in line uh, let's go with this one uh, let's say gender and that is checkbox and name is gender value is uh, let's say true and let's say how does it look looks like on the UI so if I save this um, I will come here and refresh and uh, if I go to the production ready that is uh, in radio buttons so let's add um, radio let's do one thing uh, radio 
I will come here and refresh this one. I have to add um, one for uh, the female as well. So uh, what I'm going to do is duplicate this. As this is in line, so it should be in line as I expect. So female and the the value should be like female. And what we have. If I go to the user create user create user table what we have in the gender uh, gender is enum so I guess I can pass the values itself like male and female just like this I will save that come here and refresh the page so we have male and that one doesn't show us off so let's do one thing oh control x control v and that should be like a separate one and close that like so format that and check the ui and the browser yeah that looks uh, good so as you can see, uh, but I need to add uh, the gender as a label. So let's do that here label and it is for nothing gender, gender. And uh, what I'm going to do is add some margin here. Uh, let's add it to this one margin MB. So MB of let's say three, three or two. And the same for this one and let's see how does it looks like in the browser okay so we have gender male and female let's add a VR tag after this one and I hope that will be fine for now yeah um, and then one thing I'm uh, having issue with is uh, I don't see the the header and the button so uh, let's fix this issue so if I come here uh, we have rounded login card let's remove this class and see what this does so remove that and refresh the page still not scrolling so me auto Overflow hidden, so we need to set the overflow scroll. I guess, um, overflow scroll. Let's see, let's check uh, the class bootstrap overflow scroll. Oh, so overflow scroll, spelling mistake. Let's refresh that. Yeah, that looks uh, good, but we don't see the button to submit the form and the this uh, create account button. So I think what I'm going to do is I will add margin. So margin bottom. Let's uh, set that to margin y. And do we have y in that? Let's uh, save this. This looks good, but we are missing these buttons that is create account. So if I zoom in again, this looks good as well, but the header doesn't look good. So I'm going to move it, move that down to the farm itself. And still not able to see. Let's do one thing. <laughs> we have BR tags, so add a bunch of BRs. and now we got the count so some more this is not a perfect solution but but this it's going to work yeah that looks good now what i'm going to do is um fix the um icons uh, issues and we need to set some violation as well so for the icons uh, what i'm going to do is we have feather icons um feather icons Laravel, we have package for that, I guess. So, um, 
we see one here blurred feather icons package to easily use feather icons in your laravel blurred projects um there is a package with the feather so feather php let's see that out close the tabs we don't need them anymore so feather or php and php library for feather icons yes um so i'm going to install that so copy that come on come here and uh, composer require pixel robin feather icon and looking at the documentations all you need is just install it and go ahead and use it as well so we will include this in the at the top of the page so let's do that here and then calling the icon name from this object like so so i will copy this and till that is installing we can directly come into the topic and i uh, use the icons as itself so uh, we have missing the icons on last name so laravel syntax uh, icon input so icon dash input and i can remove this one and save that let's see if that's going to work then we will do the rest of them quickly oh the server is not running uh, let's do one thing open up another terminal and see the desktop and to laravel and to connect me and php addition server it's running let's check this out feather i can't not found so it's not installed yet so let's do one thing um integrate the rest of them and if there's any issue then we can fix that as we go also one thing i have to add the required for client side validation so I'm going to select all of the input the, the name properties like this and then add required property so this is like client side validation and then we were talking about the icon so I'm going to copy that and paste that in every input field so input icon input icon then that is the buttons and then input icon here and then no icons here uh, input icon here so i input icon and terminal conditions no other icon now here we have to add uh, the instead of index.html we have to add uh, the route so route login and already have an account we will click on this layer and uh, this will register so as you can see the register as a link so we need to make that button what i'm going to do is uh, let's uh, copy that or cut that and then instead of egg or inca tag i will make that button so button px0 text center and something like that and button um let's save that and permit that let's see if that is installed not done yet so let's wait till that and before that i can check the guest file so here we have um we have the somewhere the uh, logo it's loading the logo so i'm what i'm going to do is go to register at the top somewhere here we have the logo for the application and yeah we have to remove this as well so remove that and yes one another thing is that we need to add the errors things like this like if there is any error in that it's going to show that error here so that's what uh, we also have to do so what i'm going to do is ca uh, cut that from there and after uh, in every input field we have to add that option now i saw another uh, input index.html file so i have to 
uh, change that as well so route um, this is URL and points to the home URL and uh, then let's go to the input fields of uh, up the the errors yeah so errors um, get the post name so if there's any error in the post name then go ahead and print that now I'm going to copy that and uh, paste that after every input field and change that to the pers uh, respectfully input type name like these names should be here because of uh, whenever there is any error in that it's going to display that here so that's what I'm saying uh, and yes uh, we need to do that with the email and here um, the name is email or phone number so that's uh, what we have to fast here now the same for uh, profile profile is required because uh, you might have seen like every social media applications requires um, profiles now here we have two so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to paste that here and because we have the same name like the gender and gender so I'm going to call gender here and then password so paste that and password now password confirmation we don't need that because um, password will automatically throw the error when the password doesn't match that it's going to be displayed in the password field except term conditions that is required and uh, we can paste that and call it terms and uh, let's format that and see how does it goes the package is installed so if I come here and refresh the page uh, input not found error let's go to the pillar uh, website and um, look for the icon that you can use over there let's search for user users I don't see any icon with that name let's do one thing as in the you can see here we have arrow right so I think the icon will be like input not icon input so if I search for icon input where is the icon that we use yes so if I remove the dash I icon and dash let's see how does that looks like I will refresh didn't I save it the icon doesn't exist and we are trying to use it that's kind of weird let's do one thing um, instead of input dash icon or input itself now we have icon that is user so let's use that and uh, see if that is going to affect uh, the page or oh, yeah uh, you see the um, HTML of that is displayed so we need to convert the HTML to to the actual icon I mean we need to render that not to just display the code of that so uh, to do that we can use uh, the this syntax remove one curly brace and add two exclamation marks so I'm going to copy that let's search for the um, get method so not get icon search for this method copy and paste one is here exclamation marks let's replace that in all the places and uh, yeah we have four so let's recheck uh, yes that is missing 
um, the first one so I'm going to do that as well I will save that and come here and refresh the page and see how does that looks like yeah it looks pretty good so far but we need to remove this classes um, so what I'm going to do is uh, select all of them literally all of them Control C and remove that and <laughs> then uh, refresh the page now it looks uh, good so far but I see something is wrong as we applied margin top and minus so that's what we have to do with all of them so I'm going to select and yeah you see we have T, uh, TI user icon so I guess we were integrating the wrong thing so control Y and this is the actual icon TI email um, so if I copy that and paste that here one time and uh, this is what we have to remove right so uh, I'm going to select all of the these kind of email icons and remove that the TI icon so select all of them and remove that and then we have to add these to the rest of it as well and uh, this is username this is uh, email it has icon and then I don't know this one exists or not you will see that in a minute as well and then we have this thing we don't have any icon for that and then gender and uh, password password has um, icon yes so um, lock as you see here TIE lock so we'll just um, write that and remove the TIE lock from the from the input fields and then we have password confirmation we have icon for that so instead of loser user we have to lock it and let's see how does that looks like so hopefully we will have removed the oh, email not found here as I mentioned before I'm not sure about that so it's the issue um, what we have to do is uh, email address we have to use user icon here as well now that is to expect but we need to set the places for these and I think here we still use the SVG in the first one uh, and we have to remove that like this and use uh, the feather icon so dollar icon icons get icon and user icon and remove the SVG tags so now oh, we have to add the margin as we, you can see here the uh, icons are like wrong placed so we need to add margin but let's refresh the page and see how does that looks like yeah that is uh, the correct position because we have margin uh, in negative so what I'm going to do is uh, select the rest of them and add that uh, margin to them so control D to select all go to the right position space and paste the um, styling sheet like margin top and minus 10 now it looks uh, pretty good now we have the locks and for the last name we have a issue so um, the last one is uh, this one last name um, we have removed this class so let's add that back and uh, let's see how does that looks like and you can see the register uh, um, button is back as I mentioned before this was the issue with the uh, with the cache and stuff like that so now uh, the UI looks good so far uh, for me you can improve it as you wish and I have to fix this issue so I'm going to come here here we have somewhere icon so if I search for TI because they are the TI dash icons TI close TI close and TI close 
so to up there so I'm, I'm going to use the feather icon here so um, HTML expression like exclamation point one um, dollar icons get icon and let's say get a, a close icon if we have it if we don't have it then throw error obviously throw error if it doesn't have that and yeah it throws error so let's use any Or instead of icon, let's remove the com that completely. Uh, completely. So I don't know where is this button is used. So I want to uh, refresh the page now. And now it does looks good, but the issue is still there. But um, I am looking for. Well, um, I was on the wrong place. Let's revert those changes. So. Uh, TI close, let's do that. I know that is not going to work, so um, here we have register. Um, did I duplicate these things? If I search for this, no, it's not duplicated. Model login, okay, so that is the login. Uh, I have to remove this. We don't need. We have separate page for login and registration. We don't need these at all. So I'm going to remove that. And uh, these things looks good so far. And I was searching for the issue in the somewhere at the top of the pages. Yeah, here we go. We found it. So what I'm going to do is um, they have uh, paid the reserve. So do we have zip icon with the zip? So uh, I'm going to call this icon HTML syntax dollar icons of git not double dashes git icon and the name is zip. Let's see if that is exist. Hopefully it does exist. So now the UI is done. So let's go to the um, to the backend. So what I'm going to do is uh, I will go to the the form that is uh, submitted. So um, register model. I'm going to out that PHP not can pick file a route south file and search for register uh, route with the post method so here we go um, here we have it the store method yeah and here we have the fields that we have to add to the validation so uh, first name and duplicate that and last name then username and then we have email yeah we have that and then we have uh, I guess uh, what we have after email. Let's check that in the UI. After yeah, we have phone number or email. So what I'm going to do is uh, email underscore or underscore phone uh, uh, number. So now we have to identify where this is email or phone number. I think we can do one thing with that as well like instead of passing the phone uh, these uh, like at once we can uh, set this to sometimes and that will check if that is passed in while at the rest of it and as you can see this is going to check if the email is unique so we have to set unique email as well as phone number so uh, what I'm going to do is uh, email and phone number add both of them and uh, both of them are sometimes and this should be phone uh, and I'm going to uh, do one thing from the client side so if I get come to this uh, UI 
and we have the JavaScript code right so we are changing the uh, type as well as uh, the placeholder but we can change the name as well so uh, what I'm going to do is uh, change the name to the respectfully uh, type but we have till we will have to uh, do something with that so let, let's do that and put type is fine um, so what I'm going to do is uh, save this this will set the name of that as well so um, what I'm going to do is come here and uh, this will be till now like the telephone that is coming from here um, because if you click on the phone number it's going to set the till as a name because you can see here the input type is a plus parameter and we are setting that as a name of, the, of that thing so now we got the telephone uh, and email and that will be successfully validated uniquely and then we need a uh, profile so the profile that is uh, required and that is uh, image uh, image and then we can set the mems so mems and uh, let's say we accept uh, png jpg and jpeg files and uh, this is not has to be string and we can set uh, the max here as well like uh, uh, 1024 that will be like one megabytes of uh, images and then the fast hold confirmation that thing is fine but we need to set one validation for uh, the uh, gender so to type as gender that is required and then uh, we have the mem types no need for that and uh, let's set the as just uh, required now one one thing I'm wanting to wondering to do is uh, uh, check if that is going to be successful but let's do one thing let's uh, fill the rest of these things and uh, come there come to that later on so uh, we have first name and that is a uh, first underscore name then last name so control D last underscore name then we have the username so select an username and then uh, email is already there uh, gender uh, gender and uh, uh, if I do one thing like uh, if the email is passed then pass it otherwise empty and the same for phone number and we don't have the name so let's set that to profile picture and we will save the profile so create a variable and here what I'm going to do is uh, check if uh, a request of file with the name profile exists then uh, go ahead and store that file so the same expression like request file of profile with the name and store that in the profiles directory and return the name then save that name to the profile variable so empty variable uh, of type string and then build some value to that variable here and then that value is used here and otherwise if uh, that is not available then go ahead and empty set empty value for that now we have missing this is phone number so and a request key on request we are getting a uh, till not phone number and gender is fixed now uh, register the event and do the, these things so let's do one thing like uh, there are some things like we will have to create account not just in the user model like entry 
you will have to entry we will need entry in different things like the in the notification and some other different things but for now let's stick with this so i'm going to uh, test that out i will refresh the page here use pick filler to uh, pack add the fake data and currently it's email so that's why it's uh, showing that now i will add a profile picture so let's add this one and uh, let's do one thing let's leave any field empty uh, to see the error and a response of the application so that is client side validation let's add some value the client side error validation does works so let's submit the APK, the form and we have some error but we are not able to see it so what I'm going to do is uh, do one thing here we have the error object showing for most of them but we are not able to see the actual error where that is coming from so what I'm going to do is yeah we have missing now we have that for that uh, what I'm going to do is loop to all of the errors and display that at the top as well in the alert box so uh, after this um, I think we can show the errors right here um, so at user condition like it is any error so if there is any error in the errors bag then uh, we will have the dash alert bootstrap alert and this will be dangerous and here you will have the content but this is not one error so we need to use loop so for each of the error as errors as error looping for each error and displaying the error message so dollar error and uh, errors as you can see we are calling any so we need to call all all errors and loop through that and display that in the in the ui so i'm going to save that uh, we can let's leave that for now i'm going to use a uh, fake filler to fill, quickly fill the form add some image and register the click on register button now the name field is required so we don't have name field in the uh, name do we have name we don't have name the name field is required uh, for file that's interesting that is wrong but I am looking for the name of name attribute do we have that no we don't that is profile and where is the name i think uh, maybe the cache issue i will save that again and refresh that again with hard refresh control shift r that will hardly refresh the page so using filler to fill the page I am missing the form image so let's choose any image quickly click on register again the image name field is required so somewhere we are missing something from here this one's redirect Let's search for name here. Uh, you can do one thing clearing the application cache. So PHP or TSM cache clear. Come here and try that again. 
refresh the page fill the form with the fake filler choose image click on register and it's not going to happen so the name field is required getting that error and not sure where we have that input field constructor let's do one thing um, if the error is coming from this validation then um, let's do one thing uh, dd something here like hello I am here with the wrong spelling <coughs> uh, let's try that again to see if we are going to get anything like from the dd command so I will submit this and uh, yeah the issue is in this validation so far so uh, gender profile till email username and uh, first name and last name I feel like we have something in the form that we are not validating let's do one thing search for names but what is interesting is that the error is only in the top not in the in the field itself but let's search through that name is equal to name I'm going to search for all names I saw last name two times you see here last name and last name so this is the last name and this is also the last name what the hell I'm talking about oh this is the username last name last name or the first name where is the first name so this is the first name okay so uh, by mistake somehow I removed that first name first name and first name here as well oh yeah I think that's why it's not showing maybe that was the issue so if I come here and refresh the page fill off the form with the fake filler um, pick up any image click on register again error a name field is required and we are not able to see the name field and one thing you know to see uh, the first name is not auto filled so we need to use the value with the old property so value equals to old uh, past name and uh, we have that the for the rest of them we can see that in the UI uh, we don't have that in the in the email so what I'm going to do is now you can see for the email we have uh, one issue like we have uh, it is the, the, this field can be either oh yeah here is the issue maybe um, the name is email and the ID is this let's do one thing let's leave that uh, that's not a problem here we have either email or phone number I'm going to uh, set this to email and I'm going to add another one with the um, we have tail and uh, if, if, if there is any error with the tail attribute it's going to display it. otherwise it's going to return empty and looking at this we don't see any other issue with that profile gender 
let's uh, refresh pill pick filter um click on register let's do one thing come here and dd the whole request see what is missing in the one thing i notice is we have the input type form and i think we don't have the multi form form data so we need to add that as well in type multi form multi part form data for image uploading so we do have the image upload functionality here so that's why i have to i have to use that using pack filter upload the image click on register what i don't see the dds at all am i working in the wrong route it's only wrong route, one route so let's see the routes file register control that now we are in the correct spot store method and that is what oh so we were on the wrong spot yes register user controller so what i'm going to do is copy this <laughs> whole thing into register user controller what we are on so register user controller and this one this one is from the inner from inside you see inertia common and control was out okay that is my bad okay okay so i'm going to paste that whole thing um right here and uh, i think we don't need the dds at all and then come here and fill up for the response uh let's remove the response because we are going to be loading there redirecting to the another uh, to another to another routes so let's try that now hopefully this time it should work so if you're feeling uh, choosing any image as a profile click on register and the name field is still required what the hell let's go to register user control out register user control let's see here so the problem was we were working on the wrong route so uh, you should be careful with that uh, redirect response let's remove the dds and uh, let's try that out again using pick filler to fill everything up choose image for the profile and click on register now here we go so the big issue is now fixed uh this small these are like small issues so you you id that is the str uu id and we have to import the str so use str it will automatically do that let's refresh uh we have mobile not phone number so that's interesting um mobile or phone number and does not have a default value okay so now yeah we are redirected to a dashboard page which is cool so now we are logged in successfully uh, in the next video uh we have to ignore this because this is white and we are not going to, uh, we are using custom template not white or anything like that from the javascript side so i will see you in the next section where we will uh, integrate some more uh, cool stops uh, in this uh, template stops thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one